We'll start on the left and then we'll come on this side. Yes, sure. Uh, thanks a lot. Matthew Lee, Inner City Press. Thanks both of you for the, for the briefing. Um, I wanted to ask about the United the, the U.S. Uh, a couple of things. One is, given this, you know, the Senate, the U.S. Senate report on, on tor torture conducted by the CIA, I just wanted to get your thoughts, Mr. Mendez, on, on do you think it should be released? Should it all be released? You know, what should, and, and, and in terms of accountability, what should be done to the, those found guilty? And also, in terms of the prison system in the United States, I know that you've had some requests either denied or too many conditions imposed. And President Obama recently went, you know, visited a prison himself. Do you think this will change uh, the way in which your requests are, are, are treated? Thanks. Well, first on the, the report uh, of the Sen Senate Select, oh, sorry, Senate Select Committee on Intelligence, um, I said in December that it was a very uh, important moment uh, of truth-telling with respect to uh, what had happened uh, during the so-called global war on terror. Um, I also uh, urged uh, the, for the full report to be disclosed and with as uh, much less uh, redactions than the summary that was, uh, that was uh, uh, released. But I also said, and I joined the High Commissioner for Human Rights, for example, and others, in saying that truth-telling is only one of the obligations of the state. Uh, when it comes to torture, the states are also obliged to investigate, prosecute, and punish those who may be responsible. And that uh, aspect of the obligations of the United States remains unfulfilled. It remains, um, uh, you know, at, uh, at an impasse. Uh, uh, by, dis by decisions of the, uh, of the Department of Justice, uh, uh, but whatever that those decisions are, uh, it is uh, you know, a failure to respect international obligations in this regard. With respect to visiting, uh, as I said in my uh, remarks this morning, uh, that I'm still negotiating with the United States about having access to uh, to uh, prisons uh, in terms that I can accept. Um, already in 2012, the, the, the Department of Defense invited me to uh, Guantanamo Bay, uh, but unfortunately they gave me the very same terms that they had given my predecessor back in 2004, and those are terms that I cannot accept because they amount to a guided tour to, of some parts of the detention facility, not all of them, and a briefing by the authorities, but expressly with the condition that I cannot talk to any <coughs> inmate. So I uh, declined that invitation, but I also insisted on a new one. And unfortunately, on Guantanamo, uh, that's where the situation uh, lies right now. I since uh, uh, have asked the, the US government for uh, invitation mostly to deal with solitary confinement uh, in both state and federal prisons. At this stage and after two and a half years, uh, unfortunately, the situation uh, has not been resolved favorably. Uh, some states uh, are not responding or some states are declining to invite me. And the federal government uh, is inviting me to some uh, prisons under the, the Federal Bureau of Prisons, but uh, on conditions that I also need to negotiate further because I cannot accept that I could talk to some prisoners, but not others. Um, and finally on, uh, um, well, I, I think, uh, was any, any other part of no, your question? Whether, whether President Obama's uh, ah, yes, visit, yes. That visit he made. Well, I think, I think the visit by President Obama was unprecedented for the United States, but also for many countries around the world. I, I, I know of no other situation in which the head of state actually visits a prison and highlights the importance uh, and talks about solitary confinement specifically. I also think that uh, remarks uh, in dicta by two members of the Supreme Court, uh, Justices Kennedy and Justice Breyer, are also very encouraging about the need to look into solitary confinement. Um, in addition, as you may know, there are negotiations, uh, settlement uh, and litigation going on that are also very promising on solitary confinement in California prisons, for juveniles in New York, uh, for people with mental uh, disabilities in New York and in other states as well. Some prisons have been closed in Illinois, for example. So I think we are seeing uh, some light at the end of the tunnel, but uh, solitary confinement is a very, very difficult problem. And uh, perhaps 
we cannot aspire for a radical solution, but we can aspire to some uh, incremental changes that will probably go a long way in eliminating this uh, matter that, uh, at the very least, uh, in, uh, when it's prolonged or indefinite, or when it is applied to uh, children or to people with mental disabilities or to women who are pregnant or feeding uh, children, amount to cruel, inhuman, and degrading treatment at the very least. And if it's very prolonged, it amounts to torture.